Hey guys, this is Budget Type Dad here. Today we're doing another video on chia plotting. This is a more a follow up to my first video where I tested a workstation SSD, the 970 Pro, thinking that SSD would be best for plotting since we're doing a lot of a read and write when we're plotting for hours, right? But unfortunately, it didn't really push the limits of the 970 Pro because it can only do three parallel plots on one terabyte. So if we look at the performance during the plot, the transfer rate wasn't really that high to really justify having a NVMe SSD. Like I feel like a SATA could do just as good. And also the workload here, it's just averaging maybe between like 20 to 30%. So it's really not pushing the limits of this SSD. So my next test will be testing out something slower, but more capacity. So I'm testing out on a two terabyte SATA SSD it's going to be the A50 Pro 2 terabyte, and the, the results are actually kind of surprising. So if we're looking at the results here, you, you see that the A50 Pro, it is plotting 7 in parallel, but it's definitely a lot longer in terms of time. However, if you break it down to plots per hour, it's actually better than the 970 Pro 1 terabyte by a little margin. But the only thing is for the 970 Pro 1 terabyte, when you finish your first three plots, you could farm with that and then plot again, plot the next three. But for the A50, you will have to wait for all seven to plot before you can farm. And if we look at performance wise as well for the A50 Pro, there the transfer is still like basically the same thing as the 970 Pro, right? But the workload is 100% the whole entire time. This kind of lead me to say that what plotting depends on is IOPS of SSD, not the transfer rate. So my next test will be the best of both worlds, which is a two terabyte NVMe SSD. And um, I tested out on a 970 EVO two terabyte. Here's the results. And it's kind of what you expected. Um, plotting seven in parallel. Time is definitely a lot better than the A50 Pro about half the time. And plus per hour is, you know, obviously is better. What's also interesting is if you look at the performance, I know this part says um, 970 Pro 1 terabyte, but this is actually the 2 terabyte 970 Evo. I think something went wrong when I was cloning the 970 Pro 1 terabyte. So um, this says 970 Pro 1 terabyte, but it's really the 970 Evo 2 terabyte. What's interesting about this performance is you could tell that you know, the, the transfer rates are still, you know, like around the 300 megabytes range. So it's really not dependent on the transfer rate of an SSD, but the workload is still kind of bottlenecking here. So I'm leaning towards that plotting really involves the IOPS of a SSD. So the next thing to test this would be a Gen 4 um, NVMe SSD. Unfortunately, I don't have that. If any of you guys watching have a Gen 4 2 terabyte and can confirm that it's performing better than uh, the 970 EVO 2 terabyte that I have, then I think it is really the IOPS that, that matters when you're, when you're plotting. So my theory for the Gen 4 NVMe SSD would be, you know, like when we're doing the 970 Pro, it wasn't maxed out at all. So I think this is the best time for three plots and if you do it on a Gen 4 SSD, I think this will be the best time for 7 plots as well. So I don't think there's a big improvement on a Gen 4 SSD, but I'll be interested in seeing what the results are. Leave a comment below if you do have Gen 4 2 terabyte SSD tested. I hope this video helped you decide what SSD you want to use to plot your um, Chia. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button and the sub. And I'll see you next time.